Hi, this is Nampusi from South Africa and you're watching Malcolm Music. Hallo und herzlich willkommen zu Rap to Saudi oder Malcolm Music, kommt drauf an, wo ihr schaut. Ähm, wir haben heute Nam Fusi zu Gast bei uns im Rahmen von Music for Girls. We are exclusive behind the scenes in your dressing room, <laughs> invading your privacy. How are you? I'm good, thanks. And you? I'm fine. I'm very fine. Um, so tell us a bit about the people that don't know about Music for Girls. What does it stand for? And how did, did they approach you? How did it come about that you performing on Music for Girls? Uh, well, I've been doing this um, for Music for Goals, I think it's the third time now, coming to Germany, and it's basically home for me. I did a show as well here, uh, it was very successful, so I, I come here, it's my, you know, it's, it's home, uh, but um, I'm, I'm part of this, they have a very beautiful concept, fighting against the racism, um, which... Um, which is a, a, a very big issue in, in the world. So being part of it is just an honor, you know, for me, uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't trade it for anything. Well, especially she's from South Africa, so there's a lot of history when it comes to racism. Um, I bet you've also seen the difference because um, apartheid is not too long ago, so it's not like in Germany where it's 50, 60 years ago, <laughs> but that is really, really uh, still there. Um, do you feel there's a lot, been a lot of progress in uh, South Africa? Oh my word, um, South Africa, it's actually been 18 years now uh, with democracy, uh, so there is still the smell of apartheid, there's still wounds that needs to be healed and so many other things, but we are getting there. Um, and and it, it's 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 amazing to come to a first world country and discover that they also um, have a problem like this. So it you know it, it you you can you can go back home and still fight. You know it, it it's not that you guys are, are only in an island and you're the only people who are experiencing this. So the whole world is experiencing it. Uh, but yeah, yes, man, South Africa is 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 coming a long way. But we are making it. I can definitely say that. Especially the new generation, us, we are definitely um, different from you know our parents, and we see things differently. And, and we are getting united uh, day by day. Um, you in South Africa is known for having so many different languages and I bet you also incorporate the, those cultural differences in your music. Um, tell us about uh, your language, is 11 languages, so you could guess now which language is her language. <laughs> It's um, my language. It's um, that's a tika tika and the kila ni ne kam kam le kum kum la tika eli senjengao. How impressive! So I don't know, no clue what you just said, but you are gonna tell the audience, I guess. Yes, uh, basically, it's um, I tossed and turned. I could not imagine to meet someone um, as handsome and as beautiful like you. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> then your language is Kosa then? It's Kosa, yes. But uh, your mother speaks another language? My mom is Twana. Uh, they known of um, the they, they You speak it too? Um, well, not fluently, but yes, I, I try. Uh, she should have taught you. She taught you. <laughs> you also speak Afrikaans? Um, no, no and apparently all. that Afrikaans is very close to German. So and if Dutch, I knew, yeah. yes, so if I knew Afrikaans, I would probably understand you oh, guys. <laughs> I thought like all South African people speak a bit Afrikaans at least, so that's yes. a myth. It's not, not true. It's not true. The this our generation it doesn't they speak. Don't yeah, they it's don't. Predominantly don't English. It's yes. Okay, then uh, well then what is your most uh, talk about your most recent album and um, the 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 different um, approaches you took and also what inspired you vocally, baby. Um, my my album is called Take Me Home. Um, it's uh, specially um, 
with the first album, first of all, which was dedicated after my mom, uh -huh. um, it, it 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 introduced me to a to the, the, the to the crowd here and Canada and and Norway and all these other countries, which was beautiful, um, and it was categorized under world music, which was amazing. And then, but I I wanted to do an album that was gonna appeal to the South African crowd, so I did take me home because I've I, I've traveled a lot and I wanted to go home and 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 share my experiences and and all these other things back home. So yes, it's a it's a beautiful album. I've got um, songs like the title of the album, "Take Me Home." That's where my heart is. And I've I've got uh, the one that I just uh, said it. Uh, oh, that's it's, a it's lyric. A, oh, <laughs> it's just for me. You, know, you already knew Sorry. that. Uh, <laughs> Yes, so and yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> well, yes. I'm broken. This yes. is me. <laughs> so yeah, I've got that as well. So yes, man, it's a beautiful album, though. Um, it's it's opening so many doors for me back home. Um, yeah, and and I'm gonna sing a couple of songs tonight okay. here in Munich, and I hope people are gonna enjoy it. So your first album was described as world music. How would you describe this one, and what does appeal to South African uh, people? Because I heard they listen to like corny uh, folk music and stuff. I thought there was. I heard somebody that's popular, but that's like like white South Africans. Yeah. Um, yeah. What does appeal well, to South African? How would you? Well, I would idea? probably. S I'm, I'm not sure, hey, but me reading the market. Uh, that side we are um, very much in the 80s mm -hmm. in our music um, which is good and bad you know it's so got like good Prince, things Janet, yeah Luther. and and yes and we still listen to on, on our radio station we still listen to old music especially Sundays okay. like you you would bump into some Whitney Houston I'll always love you okay. and you're like really at <laughs> this day and age but it's beautiful so um, our music is around that that era. It, it's very it's very African that we cannot escape. It's very dancey. Mm -hmm. It's 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 very um, it's very pop African pop mm -hmm. as well. So yes, so I would definitely say that my first album is very different from this one because the first album was very Motown meeting Sophia Town, um, and and this one is more on the pop side oh, okay. meeting rock. So uh, the first one was more soulful. This is more of a pop, uh, pop record. Yeah, meeting rock. Uh, we're trying to get to that next level. We want to see you cross <laughs> over a bit, I guess. So <laughs> yes, that's, that's, the, that's the next step. That's I'm crossing time. over. Yeah. <laughs> um, then uh, Whitney Houston, you mentioned her, a big voice, just like you, you have a huge voice. Uh, what other voices um, uh, did did inspire? Mm -hmm. What are some of the vocalists that you love and that you inspire? And uh, well, the, there's um, Tina Turner. Uh, I love her stage presence. Oh, yeah. I, you, she was, you know, amazing for me. I, I, I would definitely say Tina Turner. But I'm, I'm very much into the old uh, Motown sounds, your Aretha. I still love watching those guys. Oh, I yeah. think they contributed a lot in our music uh, today. So, yeah. A lot of retro. Yes. Old <laughs> music. Well, then that's right up your alley, the South African radio. Yeah. Um, your new project, you're going to tour it here too? I've seen posters. You're going to be all over the world touring yeah. your album. Are you excited <laughs> for that? I'm excited. I'm scared. Um, I'm just over the hills. I don't know. I'm just having all these emotions. Uh, but it is a, 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 a beginning of a, a brand new um, step for me. Mm -hmm. I did it um, 2011 and it was amazing. You know, the crowd was so amazing to me. And and I'm, 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 I'm hoping and praying for the same response. And yeah... <laughs> You're gonna perform all the songs of the new album on the set list, or are they all part of it? Yes, um, I'm performing both the first and the old uh, mm -hmm. album, and if I've got any new stuff, um, because I'm I'm probably gonna be working on new things. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I would bring them I on as well. Next, though, <laughs> no, the album then. Um, you already working? You already working on the new album? Um, not really, no, okay. I'm not, but there is um, a very positive opportunity for me to work with German oh, yeah, producers, yeah, yeah. which is an amazing opportunity which m might open a, um, a, 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 what is the word, 
doors for me okay. here okay. And, and 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 take me from world um, music to to a bigger stage or a bigger crowd which is yeah which is i'm looking and forward to not only do you do music but you're going to hollywood too we heard, we heard about a project of a, of a movie um tell us about that um well i did um, a movie based on a on a on a um on a book written by nelson mandela a long walk to freedom so it's it's a very big project um for South Africa, and I, I played uh, Mamo Miriam Makeba, oh, which okay. she was a, a legend uh, in our music industry. So it was an honor for me to to do that. But unfortunately, the movie was not about Miriam Makeba; it was about Nelson Mandela. So it you know it was just a scene. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but you know that's that's a star. You got a star somewhere. So but still, great. yes, it was it's amazing. When will the movie come out? Is it already out? No, it's. Uh, 2014. Oh, okay, but um, and it's a South African production. It's a South African production, yes. Um, yeah. So, um, I'm very much looking forward to the movies. You, 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 you sing Miriam Makeba songs. Um, I do not. Not all the time. <laughs> I mean, in the movie. Oh yes, in the movie, yes, I do. I, I sing one of her songs. Um, yeah. And we're here in Neka right now, mm -hmm. rehearsing, and she had so much praise for you. We talked. We had an uh, interview um, earlier, and she's like, you know, she was so surprised by your big voice, and and you have a petite, sm you know, you're so small and so petite, and then she was so surprised that that would come out of you. Um, how do you feel about this compliment? Because she's just really enthusiastic about you. Oh man, Nika is very um, sweet. She is. I, I've only met her for a day. Mm -hmm. She's amazing. Um, she's a very good musician, and you know, for her to say that, it, it you know, it just humbles me a lot. And they can go on Facebook. M F. Go right now. U S I. Click like. Or <laughs> uh, you can go on www dot nomfusi dot com and just just search on the internet um, on Twitter it's um, nomfusi sa and yeah that's it and but they can buy the tickets to your tour too you buy the tickets <laughs> yes you're gonna go to Germany too right yeah yeah so. Um, it was a great I told you this is home <laughs> yeah yeah it's home it's like she's just at home um, we're going to talk about some South African music right now and just do something else but it was a great interview I was so happy to meet you and you. I hope you so very much I hope you had a pleasant time thank you it was so nice to meet you <laughs>